guys, I'm Eric from Seton Games. We're the developers of Photon Rally, the game you just saw in the video. Um, I'll be presenting this video series, which is a tutorial on uh, how to develop, how we develop that game, and how you can develop that game as well. Um, that project uh, is a game made in Unity with uh, Photon Network for the connectivity connectivity parts. It includes uh, realistic physics, dead reckoning for dealing with latency, um, how to select different tracks, uh, different cars, and how to do all that stuff in, uh, in Unity. Uh, you can have the source code of the project by buying it from the Unity Asset Store. Everything is going to be in the links uh, in the video description. But um, right now I'd like to talk about this video series and what we'll be presenting here for free. Uh, the PDF tutorial is also free. You can find the uh, links in the video description as I told you before. But um, in the video series we're going to have five videos. And in this first one here we're going to learn how to download the project from Unity Asset Store and uh, how to set it up uh, properly and also your account on Photon Cloud so you can uh, have the services everything and everything working. And, um, and then we're going to check the details on how to do a proper build for the project and then you, we're going to test it with uh, on the same computer but two copies of the, the, the game running so we can show how it works on the multiplayer part works. Um, on the second video we're going to show code and how we how the game does that part of um, connecting to Photon, creating rooms, joining the rooms and uh, all this basic Photon stuff for all multiplayer games. On the third and fourth um, videos, we're going to deal with the racing part. Uh, I'm going to show how um, our game does the realistic physics part and how you can set up a car uh, on Unity using only the basic uh, physics components and a bunch of scripts and how to have the car behaving naturally and uh, or the way you want it to be and um, how to do some scripts for suspension such as uh, a sway bar and that kind of stuff. On the fourth video we're gonna see the part of how to synchronize the cars on the network, how you can have like a multiplayer racing game and how you connect, how you have all the cars in the different computers running at the same time and as at the same time the players are controlling their own cars and everything and how we deal with latency using some dead reckoning techniques. On the fifth and last video uh, we're gonna see all the other miscellaneous such as um, how we do the computation of the positions and how to finish the race, how to start the race with the synchronization from the servers uh, that we have on, uh, uni uh, on Photon Cloud. <clears throat> and how the cars can be started on their proper spawn positions and how we use checkpoints on the, on the tracks for uh, use, doing all that, st that stuff. So, um, hope you enjoy and um, feel free to download the demo, test the demo and download the PDF. Everything is on, all the links are in the video description. But uh, I'd like to, uh, after trying, if you like it, buy the, the complete project from the Unity Asset Store and then you, you're going to enjoy the video much more. Thank you. So um, I'm going to start by opening Unity and um, I'm going to create a new project because I want to show how you can start let's say Rally Tutorial and it's going to be a 3D project let's just create it and um, so Unity is going to start with a blank project as we know it and I'm gonna go straight to the Unity Asset Store and I'm gonna look for our um, Photon Tutorial. I'm gonna press, um, I'm gonna type Pun Rally, which is gonna bring um, our tutorial here. Of course, I already bought, I already bought it and um, I'm just gonna import everything. I have to type my, uh, of course, my Unity in Asset Store user. Um, it's gonna be right now and um, then then I'm gonna I'm gonna be able to import it um, so I'm gonna import everything and um, in the game and then we'll be ready to go 
Um, so Unity finished importing the, um, the tutorial, and the first thing is that it does it's it opens this uh, pun wizard which asks for our app ID. This is the ID that for our app on the photo network services. So I'm gonna close this thing here because we can find it any anywhere we want, uh, anytime we want. On this, uh, if you go here to the project. You can see photo unity networking and there's this resource folder and we can find this asset called photon server settings and we can set it up from here. So, but in order to do this, we need to have uh, an account on um, photo network. So, so um, I'm going to type photonengine.com here and um, I'm going to sign in, but you can create your account if you want. And uh, we're gonna go straight to our, uh, our apps, but I'm gonna in the, the bottom here you can find this button create a new real time app. I'm gonna create a new one so we can test same way you're gonna do at home. So we don't need to type anything else, I'm just gonna put rally tutorial here. And the thing you need to pay attention to is that you have this um, app ID here, which is this bunch of numbers and uh, characters, copy it and we're gonna need it here. I'm gonna use Photon Cloud, which is the service that I signed up to and I'm gonna use uh, US region but you can uh, choose any anyone you want and uh, I'm gonna paste our app ID here and that's it. It's it's already ready to go and we can test that by come, uh, bringing the menu scene uh, which you can find on this scenes folder and um, if you press play, um, it's gonna open the game, the menu on the game. And if you type your nickname and press OK, it's gonna try to connect to Photon, and uh, it worked. But I'm go not gonna create a race right now because I want to race against a different uh, computer or at least a different copy of the app. And uh, for that, we need to build um, one copy of the app. So let's come here on File, Build Settings and make sure both scenes, menu and race are here otherwise uh, you're not going to be able to we're not going to be able to create uh, to, to change from one scene to another I'm going to create a new build, new Mac OS build I'm going to put on desktop and it's going to be called Rally so um, let's wait for Unity to finish building um, so Unity finished uh, having the building the the rally demo I'm gonna straight up and open it and I'm gonna use a very simple graphic setting so because we're gonna have two copies of the game running so um, here's the first one and the second one I'm gonna make it run in the editor so we can um, have the console with any errors we get of course we're not gonna have any error here because I already tes tested the tutorial but um, in another in other situations when you're developing multiplayer stuff it's nice to have uh, two copies on the same computer but one of them running on the in the editor so um, I'm gonna create a race on this copy uh, of the of, of the the app and I'm gonna choose a yellow car so in order to be different I'm not gonna press start here otherwise this this thing would would go to the race scene already. I'm gonna wait for the other players, which is gonna be uh, the other player is gonna be me in the editor here. So uh, since we created the race here on this copy, you can find it listed here, and you can you just press to join instead of creating a new one. Now you can see that we have the two uh, players that are connected to the same game, and uh, here. In the original one, the master client, I can change the car color for Jose, and every time I change it here, it also changes on the other copy. This is going to happen if you have, let's say, four computers connected through the internet. It's going to work the same way. So I'm going to have a red car for Eric here. And the master client is the one that can start the race, and as soon as you start, both uh, copies are going to the race scene, and both are going to have the countdown synchronized with the server and uh, each one can control its own car. So here we can control this one and here we can control this one. And uh, so yeah, everything's working fine. We have um, 
our game up and running and no, no errors whatsoever and everything is working and even now we're gonna use we're using the internet to come and go so it's pretty fast and it's, it's pretty reliable because we're using phone so I'm gonna close it here and it it can even it still work in here but it only has one car right now but it's not gonna be a, uh, uh, you can see the message here that Rosa disconnected but uh, it's still working So um, this is it to have it work uh, to have it working, and you can test. And uh, in the next video, I'm gonna show um, code on how to do the menu and go to the race and everything like that. But uh, before that, I'd like to just do a simple explanation about the project structure. So um, you have a bunch of um, folders here. The editor folder comes with. Um, the cross-platform input, which is something that we're using for having mobile input working. And the models folder have all the 3D models and textures and stuff that we did for the project, and also GUI stuff and fonts and everything that, which is visual assets. Um, Photo Unity Network and plugins, it's uh, basically the free version of Photon for Unity uh, that's bundled with the project. Uh, if you download Photon, you're gonna have these two folders here. And uh, on the resources, I basically have the six different car prefabs, which is it's gonna be demonstrated uh, on the car selection in the next video. How we're gonna use this on the scenes folder? You have the two scenes, which is the menu scene that's open already, opened already, and uh, the race scene where you have the the track. And uh, on scripts, uh, we have three folders. The car scripts are the scripts that control the car, the menu scripts, and the race scripts, which control the game in the race. And uh, on standard assets, um, it's basically the standard stuff that we're using for the car, because as I mentioned on the PDF tutorial, we try to use as uh, many standard assets as we could so uh, we didn't want to rely on a lot of custom stuff so it's gonna be easier for you guys to repeat what we did here so uh, thank you um, check the links in the video description and also um, wait for the next video where we're gonna show how to how the, the code on how to connect to Photon and having the lobby and car selection and everything so bye see you in the next video